Good morning, beautiful people. I'm Alex and this is Gingerhead & Co, my sewing vlog. This is a secret video. I'm going to show you some of the presents. Well, mainly skirts that I made for my sister. Her chubby is out. I've just walked the dogs. Well, we've just walked the dogs, so I've got some time to make the video, the secret video. And I'm going to post it when my sister and her chubby got their presents. I'm not sure how much I'm going to show you because I don't know how much I managed to grab and <laughs> bring upstairs. Because now I have to wrap the presents. So if I don't make this video now, I'm never going to make it. And you are never going to see any <laughs> of my presents, of my handmade presents. And also I'm going to sneak in some, some of my presents, some of the presents that I'm not supposed to know about and some of the presents that are, well, some of the presents that are for me, I'm not supposed to know about them. <laughs> my dogs are here. And um, well, me being me, I, I can't not open my presents early. So I, yeah, <laughs> never mind. Don't tell anyone. Okay, let's start with all the skirts for my sister. So I only used three or four patterns for all the skirts. I don't even know how many skirts I'm going to show you. Let me just tell you what patterns I used. I'm not sure if you remember my vintage patterns. So I used the style 2860, this one, for one of the skirts. I don't remember which one is which. Then I used the new look 6354 to make a few skirts, but they're, they're different. I mean, I've changed a lot because this pattern I had a lot of ease, so it was really, really big. That's why I started making a skirt for myself, but then my sister is taller, much taller, and she's, I don't know, half a size bigger than me, so I thought it would work better for her, and then I tweaked the, the pattern, and I made, well, a few more skirts for her, because I thought maybe she would like them. Um, because that, that view, the skirt is not meant to sit on your waist, so I think it's going to be very comfortable, but we'll see. Then I used my tried and tested uh, New Look 60335. I, I really should remember this one. But again, I tweaked this pattern, so it's more of a pattern hack because, and I know it fits my sister. So I've got one pattern for me, one pattern for her, and that's so quick to make, I think. After you've cut them out, yep, a skirt takes about an hour to make all of it. So, and then I made uh, uh, New Look 6230, but view C, so the on the bias skirt. Because I thought my sister would like it. Sorry about the dogs, but I really need to make this video <laughs> quickly. So, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So, I used these patterns or well i use them as my canvas as my basic uh, starting point because i always change patterns so well, well you might not have the same effect you might not achieve the same look if you use the patterns that i say i use because i change them so much let me show you the skirts finally i sort of divided them to remember which ones are which but now i i probably don't remember so new looks 6230 uh, six, and 6235 are here. And uh, so on the bias, I've got two, two, I think so. This one, I'm not going to try it on. They're not for me. My sister is, uh, well, my sister is three inches taller, over three inches. Um, and. Uh, She's, well, she's different. She's, her waist is smaller than mine and her hips are bigger. So she's more like a woman. <laughs> but I don't know, we can wear the same size. It just will look different in the same size. She's probably about size eight UK, so six, eight, it depends. But she's taller, so, so her skirts are naturally longer. <laughs> well, and she's got really nice legs because, you know, Because I'm the other sister. The, the, um, I was known, when we were at school, I was known as the pretty one's sister. That, that's like scars you for life. <laughs> I love my sister. I really do. Okay, so that were the two that were on the bias and then New Look 6035, right? So this one. And Brian's got a t-shirt made out of it. And Hedgehub has got uh, a hoodie made out of this fabric. 
and the, the fabric was from Colville and I really, really, really liked it. I had, uh, well, I made a dress for myself and I wore this dress quite a lot. I still have it and I will wear it, but it's, it's sleeveless. So, well, actually I wear sleeveless dresses all the time, but, but well, anyway, so it's this kind of snake skin, you know, and the, the colors are really, really vivid in real life. I never know how they are going to look at um, in the video, but, but they are really vivid in real life. Then she wanted another skirt because I made her this skirt earlier. Sorry, I need to iron them, I know. But, but. So I made her the same, precisely the same skirt uh, earlier and she really liked it, but um, it started kind of showing signs of wear. So well, I made her another one. So four skirts. Done. I don't know how many to go. That's the one from New Look, from, from the vintage pattern that I've got here. New Look 6354, this one. And um, it's, it's a strange pattern. I mean, it's okay, but it had too much ease. And you are meant to do the zip and the, the cord or the elastic in the waist. The, the waist is sort of yoke. So again, it's meant to sit under your, your waistline, so I don't know. I, I don't know, if she doesn't wear it, that's fine. But that's from the fabric that I kind of intended to make this skirt in. Who knows, maybe we'll manage to make my sister model for you. I doubt it, we are always so busy when she comes here <laughs> and I always miss her. So we've got a lot to talk about and a lot to, to do. And yes, I use this check or plate fabric and I really like it to make a skirt I'm not sure about pattern matching well not perfect but I, I, I've tried my best not the best but not the worst when you wear well, I mean I hope that when she wears the, the skirt it's not like it's not going to stand out or anything because there is some attempt at pattern matching <laughs> and then I use the sparkly fabric the, the one with glitter, the glitter that comes off, that I showed you in when I was talking about my vintage patterns and I was planning all those skirts. So I made her a skirt out of that. And it's quite nice if it fits. I think it's, it's not bad. So again, I sort of modified the same pattern. Oh God, I've got more. So I made another one for myself. I used the vintage pattern, so a new look six three five four to make myself this skirt again modified but the yoke is quite bigger because i like this fabric i know it's not for everyone but i really like this fabric because it's very very much my style and and as it happens i'm wearing something that matches i made the pencil skirt from the same fabric that i'm accidentally wearing because th this is my my well outer gym layer or my dog walking Hoodie. So, so this is French Terry, right? It's uh, this one is um, Irish hoodie, but changed to beyond rec recognition. But I made the pencil skirt out of the same fabric, okay. and and I love it, and I love it, and hopefully I'll show you when I have more time on me. <laughs> hopefully, it's just a pencil skirt, so nothing too exciting. And uh, then. Another one for my sister, the pattern matching is kind of, well, but it's not crammed yet. But she wanted something check, something with plate in it, so she, she's going to have some skirts. It all started because my sister said that I could make her a few skirts. And you know, skirts are never difficult to make, even, the, even if you spend a lot of time putting a zip in or something like that. They're not too difficult. They're not as difficult as coats or, or anything more elaborate. So, well, why not? I made her um, tank top as well, using my leftover uh, model fabric and, and then some jersey that is like that, with all the cover stitching wherever possible, as always, and obviously ribbing. I don't think I've ever made a vlog, a video without ribbing in it and cover stitching in it and French terry in it. Yes, French terry today as well. So I think that's all the skirts that I made 
for my sister that she's going to get for Christmas. Mm, that was the last two weeks because she's got some skirts waiting for her already that she's also going to get, but they're not really Christmas uh, well the presents. They are just skirts that I made for her. And I also made her two hoodies and I made her um, a dress or two dresses, I don't remember. So she's going to have a lot of me maids to wear over Christmas and hopefully she'll have enough skirts to last her a bit. We'll see. I mean, I can make more. It doesn't really matter. But I don't have the two hoodies here for her chubby, so and you might have seen them anyway. But uh, I got some presents, I mean, they arrived and me being me, I can't really keep my daddy little hands off my presents. That's why her chubby always hides them and always like locks the shed and everything because I always try to trace them down and, and open them before Christmas. I just, I, I'm not very patient. Are you surprised? I'm not very patient, really. Uh, so, well, well, anyway, the presents that arrived are already opened and of me and I'm going to show you some of them. First of all, something that you, you definitely, well, you might have seen if you watch my tutorials because that's, that's what I got. It's not a Christmas present. It's just the present that I'm going to treat as my Christmas present. And I got also little stickers with cuts on from Agatha. And uh, Agatha, well, she's got an Instagram account, no time to sew. She's my friend, she's the coolest person ever. Um, I really like her and she's very intelligent and she's very funny and she travels a lot and she's just fascinating and she's just the nicest person ever. So that is from Japan because, as I said, Agatha travels a lot and uh, she brought me that from Japan and I already use it and it's gorgeous and I've got my basting needle here and I love it and it's perfect. Do you want to see the cuts and the stickers? Wait, these are my little stickers and uh, I'm going to use them to mark my birthday patterns that I want to make. They're like uh, post-it cards. They're so cute. Well, I'm going to have a lot of birthday magazines soon because my sister brings me all of them from Poland um, and uh, I'm going to decide what I want to make and then put a sticker on. They are cool. And they are also from Japan. So thank you, Agatha. That is so cool. I got another present from my friend. She always makes really like sweet presents because she's a sweet person. And it's Anna from You Got Me in Stitches. And uh, I did open it, Anna, sorry. But I kind of put it back and I'm going to pretend that uh, it's not op it hasn't been opened and I'm going to put it under the tree and open it well after dinner. <laughs> before Christmas Day because I get my presents on the 21st, so Christmas Eve, but the presents from Anna. Let's pretend that it's not opened. Thank you, Anna. And you might have noticed something behind me. This is my Christmas present. It's from my sister and uh, it's, it's a press. It's a hand press. It's very big and very heavy and I love it. I'm on a sewing machines buying bun. I am not allowed to buy any more sewing machines because I can't move in my sewing room. My sewing room is very small and I really like machines. I can't use more than one machine at once anyway or three machines at once <laughs> anyway so I can't buy any more machines but I didn't really want anything for, for Christmas but I thought I would really like this and it's hand press and I'm not allowed to use it. I'm not allowed to open it and I'm not allowed to play with it, but uh, guess what? I have. Um, and I also got for that 19 sets of dies and uh, all those studs and uh, eyelets and, uh, and snaps and whatnot, rivets, yeah, everything. So I divided them like, like that. So I put the die with whatever it is, so snaps here, right? And I put 15 mil snaps and the die is also here. So, so that I can find them quickly. And yes, it works. So I made samples of everything and I keep the sample with my studs or rivets or, or eyelids to know what it is, obviously. Otherwise I wouldn't know. Well, okay, so I couldn't wait to show you, but this is my Christmas present. 
I got myself some fabric as well as uh, a Christmas present. I'm hot and bothered. Have I told you that I've just come back from walking my dogs, running with my dogs rather. Uh, I'm going to include some some footage. <laughs> At the end of the video I'll put a little video of where we usually go because I walk my dogs most of the time. That's what I do when I'm not sewing, vlogging, working, going to the gym and <laughs> doing other things. But uh, I do that a lot. We take our dogs somewhere nice and we just spend a lot of time playing with them. Uh, they're on the lead because of cattle and uh, because of horses and because we just don't think that they should be off the lead but they have long training leads so don't worry they are not deprived of running or walking or anything okay <laughs> i'm going to show you the fabric that i bought it's just it's nothing like terribly exciting but uh, i thought i would want some because i just want to do like more experiments and more things for fun i don't want to be very serious about sewing i also got some patterns ah okay fabric first so uh, the fabric is from the textile center and from the sale in colville um, so it's not really expensive or anything but, but i still like it obviously i bought it so i like it fabric number one from the textile center is this baby scuba with birds It's not pre-washed yet and I like the colors and I think it will it will make a beautiful beautiful dress and I, I don't remember how much it was six pounds or something per meter I got three meters I think I don't remember fabric number two uh, also from the textile center and it's also baby scuba and uh, it's that I'm not sure no <laughs> like that and I like it and I like the color it's more blue than I can see it shows but I don't know we'll see but it's not gray because it looks a bit gray it's not gray it's kind of yeah me and blues and greens <laughs> I'm never going to, to tell you precisely what it is but yeah I like it I like it a lot and again, I want to use it for some some new pattern for a skirt or not for a skirt, but possibly for a dress that I don't want to spend a lot of money on fabric. You know, it was also like six pounds, I think, per meter, five ninety nine or something like that. Fabric number three from the textile center. I don't even remember. And it's also baby scuba because their baby scubas are really, really nice. I'm not the biggest fan of scuba. I, well, I don't always wear things from like heavy scuba. My sister loves scuba skirts, by the way. Um, so this is baby scuba. Is it upside down? I think it is. And it's got extremely vivid colors. And I don't think the colors are vivid on camera again. I don't think so, but are they? And I really love it. So it's black with green and pink and uh, and kind of yellow and a bit purple. Like that. And it's really nice. Quite floaty. It's not as heavy as scuba. Um, it's more like t-shirt weight or slightly more cotton jersey. It does stretch. But it's not this kind of double knit that you would expect from scuba. It's not super thick. I don't know the weight, but it's not super, super thick or super, super heavy. Okay, so that's it from the textile center, I think. And uh, Colville, do you want to see Colville quickly? So, velvet, bar burgundy, everything is three meters. And I think as most things in, in Colville they are more expensive now, but uh, around 10 pounds for three meters. <laughs> that's scuba because why not i think that was on sale so it was probably cheaper it's kind of cocoa brown it does look lighter here i don't know but yeah it's not very light in color then ity that i thought would be better but well i'll use it 
because I think the flowers are a bit too big for me and uh, kind of I prefer ditzy flowers because I don't have the body to carry it off but, but it's okay I'll use it so that was ITY another ITY and this one is nice this one is as expected so I like ITY I know that some people hate it because it kind of shows all your lumps and bumps but I don't really care I like it because it's it's perfect for kind of well clingy clothes like I don't know uh, leggings and uh, tops so I don't mind all oh, floaty skirts like circle skirts oh yes I do like my animal prints still and uh, <laughs> I love this one I don't care what people think I love this one and even Hedge Hubby knows that it's 70s but as I said I do 70s quite well and this is definitely going to be some sort of vintage or 70s Ulysses please 70s dress maybe with some interesting sleeves again and this is Ulysses again he's always here and he sm smells of washing, so he would be, he's been sitting on the uh, washing line probably. Okay, yours is off. Then I've got this suede, but it is stretchy. It is not real suede, but it feels like suede. That's all of that is from Colville. I just went on the live sale and, and just bought whatever I fancied. Hmm? And I think this one, I quite like this one. And this one is perfect for experimenting on, for making a lot of things, because it's quite floaty. It's got a bit of stretch. Yeah. And it feels really nice. I'm just worried that all my pet's hair is going to sit here comfortably. And finally, I bought some boiled wool from, uh, from Colville. Not that I'm jealous that Hubby's got uh, a coat and I don't. I bought some boiled wool. It was £15 per meter. And it's grey, this kind of melange or speckle effect. And I must say, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, there is nothing wrong with this wool. And I did a burn test, but I don't really have to with wool because the cat Ulysses that you just have seen, he really likes wool. And every time there is fabric with even some wool in it, he sniffs at it. But the more wool the fabric's got, the more Ulysses is on the fabric because he just slips on it all the time so I kind of knew that it must be wool or some wool blend immediately because Ulysses just didn't want to go off of the fabric and uh, but I did the burn test it is wool so 15 pounds per meter and I'm happy we'll see how it sews we'll see how it steams I will steam it first but but I'm not going to pre-wash it I've got this wool setting on the washing machine but i don't know i'm just too scared it's still quite expensive 15 pounds per meter oh it's not super expensive but but it's not three pounds per meter and i don't really want to waste it so and this is going to be for my coat or my jacket because i bought some patterns as well that i totally forgot to show you and one of them is yates coat because i saw yates coat made up in london at the knitting and stitching show and I just fell in love it was so beautiful so I want to make one or two for myself and I got this pattern I think on uh, the sale Black Friday sale I got some other patterns as well I'll show you the ones that are here okay recently I have bought some patterns some of them are patty do and I'm not sure if you've heard about it they're only like three pounds per pattern and I think they're really good the instructions are really good but I haven't made them up so I bought a hoodie for myself and for uh, for Hedge Hubby and we'll see but I don't have time to to make anything at the moment anything new so one is for me one is for Hedge Hubby then what else they're not not ready yet my patterns are not ready um, I've got the tamarack jacket this one I haven't cut them out I haven't well I mean I printed them off but that's pretty much it uh, I need to stick them together or I'm going to send the pattern to Liz Williams I'm not sure if 
because she she prints them off. She's a company, and she's great. Um, so either I'm going to stick them together, or I'm going to have them printed on um, A0. That's part do. That's pattern for me. A hoodie. I'm not sure if you've heard about Patty Do, but they, they seem absolutely brilliant. And hopefully I will make them and I will tell you something more about the pattern. What else did I buy? I know that I bought some patterns on the sale. Oh, that's the in colour. The Patty Do Girls pattern for a hoodie with colour blocking. And the instructions seem to be really great. Then Ah, then I've got the Yeats coat. I know that I, I bought other things, but I don't know where I put them. I guess I usually keep them in a different place before they are ready. They are ready. Like I stick them together and all that. So Yeats jacket, and I have no idea. So Yeats jacket, the coat looks like that. And I want to make it from the wool, so that's what I wanted to show you. And uh, that's from Green Line Studio. Okay, so I know that I got some patterns for Hedge Hubby as well um, from Thread Theory. What did I get? I got him jeans, so Jediah jeans, I think they're called, and something else I don't remember. Ah, um, Fairfield shirt, because everybody says that it's a brilliant pattern a man's shirt pattern so I wanted it because I want to try I have tried quite a few men's patterns for shirts but I just I kind of stick to my uh, new look I think the Mimi G one okay I think I need to finish because my battery is running out thank you for watching and see you soon bye